Getting ready. Amen. So happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Bienvenidos. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend here in Marfa, Texas. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo aquí en Marfa, Texas. Y prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. The Lord has always has something for you, but we got to be willing to Amen. receive. Amen. He had Amen. something for them way back then, but they wouldn't receive it. When one week they, they welcome him as a, a king, and the next week they're getting ready to crucify him. Yes. You know, so, hey, we serve the king of kings and lord of lords. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. We're going to continue uh, with uh, this message of opening the new year, uh, part uh, four. Prepárese a recibir. All those of you that are listening by audio or uh, watching by video, we encourage you to be open for God to Bless you. Amen. Amen. Los que estén escuchando por audio, los que estén viendo por video, prepárense a recibir. He wants to bless you, encourage you, and change you. Lo quiere yeah. bendecir, animar, y cambiar. Amen. Él quiere que cambien, ¿no? ¿Sí? He wants us to change. Amen. Don't be the same. You know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting one and different results. Yes. Amen. We got to put that behind and we got to say, hey, this year, I want to press in yeah, and make yeah, changes. Yeah. Amen. Uh, you know, we always talk about the new year, and we are at the new year. We're still the first uh, month of the year. Yeah. And we uh, say all these uh, New Year's resolutions we're going to do. Well, let's make some commitments to Jesus. Let's make some yeah. commitments to God and, and keep those. Amen. Uh -huh. Be committed, be submitted, and be obedient to what he has for us. Amen. Amen. And you know what? When you spend time with him, just get your... Uh, orders of your marching orders, yeah. your plan of the day on a, on a daily basis so you can go out into the world and do what he's called us to do. Amen. Yeah. He says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Yeah. Woo. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm motivated. Yeah. You can tell we're going to be talking. We're continuing with with passion. Amen. Yeah. Grab your Bibles. Grab your sword. So is your God. Amen. And say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Amen. You, 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 you say it. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will talk to the Lord God. I hold it in His My heart is the Lord. My spirit is receptive. I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. My mind is alert. Amen. My mind is alert. My mind is on Him and what He has for me. Amen. Because that mind could be going 100 miles an hour with all these priorities for the rest of the week, the rest of the year. But you know what? Right now, we're just going to captivate it and arrest it and keep it focused on what God has for us today. Amen? Amen. I promise I won't keep you long. Amen? Amen. <laughs> right. Praise God. That's all right. You know what? But then again, Holy Spirit is always welcome. Amen? Yes. I could have a message here for you, but he can change it. And if I'm obedient, I will change and do what he wants me to do. It's Amen. not about me. I'm not trying to do anything for myself. It's about him. It's his word that changes yeah. you and blesses you. It's not me. Amen. So praise God. Open in the new year. Call to be a passionate believer for him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Passion. What's passion? I'm glad you asked me. <laughs> it's having a powerful emotion. Being enthusiastic, excited, zealous, fervent, on fire, and stirred up. Amen. Yeah. You know, um, it's okay. I'm talking about myself too. Okay. So... <laughs> He wants to encourage us. He wants to change us. And he wants to, what else? Change us. He wants to change us and bless us and encourage us. So, you know, we got to keep this fire going. He says, stir yourself up. Keep this fire going. Be excited about me. Uh, 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 be passionate about me. And you know what? People can see that. We said this over and over many times. Some people may never step in this building. Some people may never come to this assembly of yeah. ourselves together or church, if you want to call. But they'll be there when you come by. Uh -huh. And you're the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever see. Yeah. Or you're the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever read. Uh -huh. And they're reading you. Okay? And they're just waiting for that one time for you to do something and say, Ha, ah, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. Don't give them that opportunity. That's right. You know, because... <laughs> Even though, even though you're so in seed, you're so in seed, and they're picking it up uh -huh. until the day comes. You know, right. God is using different people, not only yourself, but He's using different people, That's right. different believers, to yeah. walk.
water the seed so seed and the water you see amen and one day he's going to give the in price and they're going to come to price and says you know what <laughs> i just want to let you know because of you and your behavior and your walk and your talk about jesus brought me to christ amen, amen. amen. you didn't give in you know and you may not know how many heroes of god have gone on and not know what this was going to lead to but now we're still reading their books we're still reading about their testimonies uh -huh. amen that how many christians came to christ because of their yeah, testimony yeah. of their yeah. testimony of their walk with god amen. amen so you know what wherever you go know that you're sowing seed yeah. and i lord i thank you that the seed i sold today you're going to water it and you're going to bring people around and they're going to grow, and they're going to bloom and grow for you. Amen. So praise God. Just remember that. If you are somebody going somewhere to happen. Amen. Amen. You're the good news going somewhere to happen. Amen. And we do have uh, some of our texts, and uh, I've given them to you, so you wrote them down. One of them is Philippians 3, 12, and 14. It says, Amen. not that I have already obtained all this, <laughs> or uh, have already arrived at my goal, but which uh, I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Mm -hmm. Says, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, forgetting the yesterdays, forgetting the cares, yes. the problems, and straining, straining towards what is ahead. I press towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. God's got a calling on you. Amen. Amen. Don't let nobody talk you out of this. You have a call, and the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. We're not going to go over all of them, but I, uh, uh, just just kind of flip through them. Uh, Carmen, just kind of go through them. <laughs> there we go. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Keep going. Just show them. Amen. And I'm going to pick up where, uh, where I left off. When we read the story about the four passionate uh, believers, <laughs> they brought their friend, they brought this person that needed Christ, needed the touch of, of God, amen? <clears throat> so you know what? You as a, per a passionate person for God, let people know. Let people know that you are a passionate person for God, that you're on fire for God. And you yeah. know, your behavior, your uh, passion is going to show. Mm -hmm. Invite them, you know? They invite you to go, hey, you want to go have some drinks? Hey, you want to go to the bar with me? Why don't you say, hey, you want to go to church with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You say, hey, I go to a church that's on fire for God. Amen. 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 I go to a church, you know, where they teach the word of God. Amen. And that's what we need. We need we need the word of God to set us free. Amen. Absolutely. It says you know the truth and it's going to set you free. free. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So if they're going to invite you out to go bar hopping, why don't you say, hey, you know what? I got the best high you can get. <laughs> Drink the new one. All right. <laughs> and you can get high on him Amen. and be the best yeah. high you can yeah. have. You free. Somebody, <laughs> free. somebody <laughs> being set free. Yeah. Yeah. So this for somebody. Hey, <laughs> says, yeah. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, what is he's a new creation yeah. has come. The old is gone, the new is here. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yeah. some of you that are watching, some of you that are listening, you're a new creature in Christ. Amen. Amen. The old is gone, the new is in, you know. Quit hanging on to that stuff. Yeah, let it yeah. go, amen. Let go of the past, and let's press on with new things, amen. Yes. And uh, let go of yesterday. Yesterday's yeah. gone. Today is a new thing. Amen. So we're going to open it from here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. There you go. Lord. Be anxious for nothing. Amen. Open in the new year amen. with a bang. Yes. Open in the new year excited for Jesus, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Passionate people. Check these out. Passionate people, I'm glad, are people who are consumed with fulfilling what God has called them to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm letting you know right now, you're called to do something. Amen. Remember, he talks about the body of Christ. He talked about the physical body. Mm -hmm. You are a part of the body of Christ. Yes. And you are a part of, a, you have a physical body. And every part in your body has a function. Amen. And it's been called to do something. Amen. So you've been called to do something. Amen. Amen. Now, your relationship with him is going to tell you more or less mm -hmm. which way you're gifted. Mm -hmm. But, you know, take that gift and use it under him. Amen. Yeah. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Just don't let the world or people 
good thing, you know. Well, that's too small. And you know, we get amongst, uh, like the world, we try to bring the world into, into the church and say, well, you know, is, is, is that all you do at church? Say, yeah. And guess what? My God is very pleased with it. Amen. Is that all you do for God? Yes. Amen. Sow seed? Yes. Don't let people or anything or the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. Yeah. God uses people. The enemy uses people. Oh, yeah. Amen. So, you know what? You put those things away and say, hey, my God is pleased with what I'm doing. So, mm -hmm. praise God. Somebody tells you something else. Just put it on the shelf and say, let yeah. it go. Mm -hmm. Just love them and let them go. Yes. <laughs> Passion is the motivation force that caused us to stay on fire. Uh -huh. Don't let your flame out. You know, if you see your little flame, you can, you know, when you're flaming out, you say, hey, I got to no. get more word in here. I got to get some more Amen. word laws in here. Yeah. Get that fire going back for Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh. And let that fire stay yeah. hot. Amen. Amen. Just stay right. hot for him. Amen. Don't let it go out. Stay on fire. I talked, I think it was last week. I talked about Bill Steen. I just talked to him. He told me to tell you all, hi. Yeah. He's doing fine. You know what? He's 80 plus now. And they said, what, what you doing? He said, oh, I'm still working. I'm still going on, you know, still on fire for God. Now, that's passion. If you've seen him, some of us have been around him. <laughs> he is passionate. Amen? And we need to do this. And, and he's in his 80s now. And some of us are a long ways from that. But you know what? We got to stay passionate now. People are going to remember. If they, you want somebody to remember you by something, they say, man, that, that person, that woman, that man of God on fire for God. They can do the same thing. Yes. Amen. They can do the same thing. Amen. Encourage them. Amen. Amen. Passion empowers us to overcome fears. Yes. Passion encourages us to uh, overcome uh, procrastinations. Oh boy. Putting it off, putting it off. Hey, you know we're famous for mañana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll do it. Mañana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not right now, but mañana. Mm -hmm. Or you know, failures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doubts, discouragement, passion keeps us moving towards, in spite, moving forward in spite of how many times uh, we've been experiencing setbacks. Yeah. How many setbacks have you had, you know? Hey, if you've been knocked down, guess what? It's time to get up. Yeah. And us, body of Christ, help each other Amen. up, you know, instead of saying, you know, hey, God can't use you anymore. You're out. You know, the game's over. <laughs> You're done, you know? That's not encouraging. <laughs> Amen. Right. Say, hey, you know, hey, God loves you. Pick you up. You know, dust yourself off and get back in a race. Amen. Let's remember that. Many people are just giving up because Christians mm -hmm. have told them, you know, God can't use you anymore. You've sinned it and it's over. No, 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 no. It ain't over. He put a calling on you and he yeah. wants you to get up and not yeah. quit. Amen. He didn't call us to quit. He called us to be winners and champions yeah. for him. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Remember that. Woo. Passion yeah. picks up, picks us up no matter how many times we get knocked down. That's passion, right. uh, passion of the heart gives us the courage to do these amazing things for him. Amen. Yeah. And he's told us that he can do all things through Christ. Yes. The reason why so many of us never see our dreams or our vision come to reality is because <coughs> a lack of passion. Mm. You let your fire go out. Oh, boy. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Come on. Encourage one another. You yes. know, sometimes we got to encourage one another and say, hey, Amen. you know, your fire is going out. You know, mm. you know. So praise God. Get that fire going again. Passion is what the caused the disciples in the early church to turn the world upside down. So yes. if they did it, well, so can we. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. We just got to see ourselves <laughs> that we serve a mighty God. Yes. Amen. Amen. He's bigger than any problems you face. You know, they say this is what's going on with the country right now. Well, we just, like Pastor Pat says, we got to pray about this. Amen. Amen. He says, if my people mm -hmm. will pray, humble themselves and pray, pray. Yes. do we have to humble ourselves to pray? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you can pray driving in your car. You can pray kneeling down. You can pray laying down. Mm -hmm. But as long as, as you pray, <laughs> You know, don't let people say, hey, you can only pray near and down. No, you can't. You can pray sitting on the throne, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know what sitting on the throne means, uh, <laughs> Patricia will give you this presentation. <laughs> book of Acts tells us what, book uh, Acts 1-8 says this, but when the Holy Ghost yes. has come upon you, Amen. 
Amen. You will receive power yeah. and will tell people yes. about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout uh -huh. Judea, in Samaria, to the ends of the earth. <coughs> yeah. Well, we can say this. The Big Bay area. Wow. You know, Amen. Marfa, Delphi, yeah. Presidio, uh, Fort Davis, wherever. Grand Horn, Marathon. But don't forget, my place, Redford. <laughs> and then just go, they need, they need, they need Jesus too. <laughs> they got passionate, they got bold, they got powerful after they got full of the Holy Spirit. How much more we need the Holy Spirit? Yes. We need the Holy Spirit. Yes, we do. Praise God, we need that power. We need him right now. Praise God, Holy Spirit, have your way in our lives. Amen. Amen. God showed himself strong, big in behalf of people who demonstrated passion uh -huh. for him. Yes. Amen. Hey, I have faith. I have confidence. And God is able to show himself through me. Amen. He says that we are new creatures in Christ. We are his ambassadors, his mouthpiece. How's his word going to get out? Uh -huh. By us. We're his mouthpiece. You share his word. Amen. The good news, because there's a lot of bad news out there. Yeah. Joel 21 and 30 says this. Tell us, tells us, he will do great things uh -huh. and show wonders in behalf of those who are passionate about serving him. Are you passionate? This question for you. Are you passionate about serving him? Mm -hmm. Amen. It's going to show. Yeah. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this under him. I'm not doing it for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it under him. I'm serving him. Praise God. Listen to this. The only limitations that we have are those that we create for ourselves. Mm -hmm. When we lose our passion for what we're doing and what God has called, called us to do. Don't let the fire go out. Amen. Amen. Keep the fire going. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Keep that passion going. Yes. <laughs> Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 says, Passion is the greatest need in the church today. Wow. Amen. <laughs> you know there's four teams left in the NFL playoffs right now. <laughs> And you know those guys are passionate oh. right now. Oh. They're passionate because they want to make the next uh -huh. level. And the oh, next yeah. level is Super Bowl. Uh -huh. Super Bowl is, you know, their heaven. <laughs> they want to get to heaven. Amen. But they're passionate. You don't see any of these guys without passion. Oh. You know, if I'm a uh, teammate of someone and I see him uh, lagging and holding back, yeah. I'm going to walk up to him and encourage him and say, hey, we need you on this team. Yeah. You know what team means? Yeah. It means team. To, <laughs> together, everyone achieves more. Together, everyone accomplishes more. Mm -hmm. You're part of this team. Get yeah. excited. Get motivated. Yeah. Have passion in what you're doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. we're, the, we're in this together. Yeah. You know, you don't want to have to carry the load for nobody else. You carry it. Come on. Let's Amen. do it. Woo. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Woo. God tells us through his writing the Apostle uh, Isaiah that he wants, to, he wants to do a new thing. Yeah. Listen. How would you like to be a part of God's new thing? Uh -huh. You are. You're a part of the body of Christ. You are a part of the body of Christ. So you are involved in, do, in doing this yourself. Amen. Yeah. Mark 16, 15, and 18. That's one of our slides. You have a part of the body of Christ. He says, go into the world. Yeah. Go into out there where the people are. Yes. And you do these things. Signs will follow you. You have authority. Yes. Amen. You lay hands on the people and they shall recover. Amen. Amen. And you know what? There's devils. He says, cast them out. Uh -huh. He didn't say just play with them. That's right. He says, cast them out. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. they don't want to go. They want to stay yeah. where they're at. I mean, this is home for them. <laughs> but you know, you got to clean it out and say, hey, get out of here. Yeah. Sounds exciting, man. Huh? <laughs> he wants us to be right in the middle yes. of where it is. Amen? Amen. He wants us to be participators. Yeah. Amen. You're in this team. And we want you to be a participator, not a spectator. That's and you right. know what? If I'm on the sidelines, <laughs> I'm going to be encouraging my team. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to be encouraging my team to be the best yes. participator I could be. Amen. Amen. Not to be a spectator, but a participator. Yes. Amen. If you're a spectator, you want to tend to be spectate, and you tend to judge, and you're not called to do those things. He wants us to be busy in the body of Christ. Amen. It, you know, our physical body has many parts, and they're all participating. And they're all participating in unity as the body of Christ. We need to do the same thing. 
We all need to participate, yes. but we all need to work in unity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. That's the body of Christ working together. I'm persuaded that only the passionate will have a role to play. Yes. Amen. So don't be left out. That's right. It's your choice. You have a choice, but you decide this new year to yes. say, you know what? I'm going to get involved. I'm going to be in this Amen. team. You know, when you, if you're in Jesus' team, you're in the winning side. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he wants you to participate. Yes. Amen. So praise God. When you're, when you're passionate and you're participating, people are watching. Uh -huh. And you know, I can't go where you go. Uh -huh. When we leave these four walls, you go to different areas. Well, that's your mission field. That's where God wants you. Mm. Amen. And you, they see that you're on fire and you're on passion. You have this passion for God. Yes. I said, I don't know how you do it. Well, I have relationship. And that's what Christianity is. Yeah. Yeah. Having relationship, knowing your God, and know who you are in Him. Yes. Amen. When you know these things, you want to share. It's not about you, it's about sharing. Amen. Amen. How can we be sure we're not left out? Well, keep yourself passionate for God. Keep yes. yourself stirred up. Amen. Keep the fire going. Yes. Keep the fire hot. <laughs> Keep Amen. the fire hot. Amen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I know I've, I've said this so many times, but uh, what do passionate people that can't go have in common? <laughs> well, you stir them up, and it's going to come out. Whatever sin you, it's going to come out. Amen. When you get passionate about God and you get that stirring yourself up, uh -huh. what's in you is going to come out. Yeah. So yeah. we got to get the word and fill yes. ourselves with the word of God. Amen. Amen. When you fill yourself with the word of God, what else can come out of you? No. But the word of God. He says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers yes. of yes. living, yes. living yes. water. The word is live. The word yes. is alive. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. When you stir yourself up, the water is going to come out. That The word is going to come out. Amen. Yes. So you shake that coke can and you open it up and you see that thing just come out. Mm. So don't say, you know, like Moses, he's, well, I can't talk. I don't talk well. <laughs> I tell you what, when you get stirred up for Jesus, it's going to come out of you. Amen. Because the Bible says we can do all things through Christ. Yes. And you say, God used me, so guess what? He's going to use you. Amen. Make yourself Amen. available, and he's going to use you. Amen. Amen. He's looking for available people. Yes, he is. He's not looking for perfect people. That's right. If you go back and open this Bible and you read, none of these people that God used were perfect. That's right. So don't let religion, don't let people, anyone, or so-and-so tell you, you're not, you're not good enough, and you're not perfect enough for, for God to use you. Is that right? Do you know what the Word says? Amen. Yes, well, guess what? He wants to use you. Amen. Amen. He says, go into the world. He didn't say, perfect people, go into the world mm -mm. and do this for me. No, he says, just go into the world. He's talking to people. He's talking to us. Amen. Yes. And there's a lot of sinners out there. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And he don't hate sinners. He hates sin. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So remember that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Passion will call Peter, uh, cause Peter and John to disregard what religion leaders is talking about. Mm. You know, and they, they went out anyway and preached about Jesus. Mm. You know, some people hear him. Well, I won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Their passion caused them to ignore the threats and have no fear. Their passion gave them the holy boldness to declare what Acts 4 and 20 says. He says, yes. we cannot stop telling about the wonderful things yes. that we've seen and heard. Yes. What about your testimony? Amen. You know, their testimony is awesome. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb Amen. and the word Amen. of their testimony. Yes. So you have something in you Amen. that God wants to use. And it's not for you to hold. It's for you to let out. Amen. When he says, let it out. Let it out. Amen. He says, the wonderful things you've seen, guess what? you got the good news in you. And you want to share it with the bad news out there in the world. Amen. Because that's all people know until they come to the good news and recognize Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Passion would not allow them to be silent. <laughs> Amen. When you know the truth and somebody says something, you won't be silent. Amen. Passion would not allow them to cower down and hide. Passion caused them to be bolder. Passion is what inspired them to say, we obey God rather than men. 
So you want to be God pleasers and not men pleasers. Amen. Pastor will not allow them to seek comfort or an easy zone. <laughs> you know, we want to always just stay in this comfort yeah. zone, you know, and uh, not, that's what you call yeah. the lukewarm. <laughs> yeah. We just want to straddle the fence. Well, God says either be hot or cold. He says, but don't do that lukewarm stuff. You know, we just want to be part time Christians. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a part time Christian. I don't on Sundays, you know, mm. or whatever. Uh, Pastor needs to call what got them through the hard times. Pastor will kept them going when others went by the wayside. Pastor yeah. people live committed lives. Yeah. They practice their faith with joy and enthusiasm. Amen. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah. Amen. So if, guess what? Get joyful. <laughs> Not sad, you know. Get that frown off your face. Amen. Yeah. Give it a break. <laughs> God is calling you today to be a passionate follower, a passionate believer for him. Okay. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So Praise get stirred God. up. Get stirred up and stay stirred up. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, stay stirred up. Yeah, stirred up. Keep it going. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It says that cup wants to run over. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't keep it down. Your cup wants to run over. Mm -hmm. It keeps... Uh, It'll come up when you need to minister. You say, I don't know how, how I'm going to do this. When I was standing there doing praise and worship, I said, Lord, I want to say what you want me to say. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, you prepare yourself when you see somebody and you're going somewhere or doing something. <laughs> I say, Lord, help me to say the right thing. Mm -hmm. Help me put words in my mouth that you want me to say. Amen. Passionate people have everything you need to accomplish what God has called them to do. Yes. It's already in you. So yes. know these things. We've gone through some of these. Only you can do the stirring up. Oh, Only yeah. you can do the firing up. Yeah. Staying on fire. Mm -hmm. Say if Jesus is in you. And if he's not, now's the time. This is the year. We're starting this year. Why not ask Jesus to come into your life, be your Lord and Savior now? Amen. That's all yeah. it takes. Amen. Jesus is in you. Love is in you. Faith is in you, and yeah. the power, the authority of God is in you. Yeah. The most powerful name, Pastor Pat says, Jesus, the most powerful name in the world. There is. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. It's up to you and me to get stirred up and stay stirred up, stay on fire for God. Mm -hmm. Passionate. When you stay pa passionate, you can do all things through Christ. Amen. You, you don't want to stay uh, sit on the sidelines mm -hmm. like most Christians do. <laughs> all right. You're not like most Christians. No, we're not. Amen. You don't just want to sit and be comfy and be lukewarm. You don't want to be, let me see what I wrote here, part-time Christians. No, uh, part-time Christians, no match to a full-time right. devil. Part-time Christians is no match to a full-time world. Right. Amen. There's a full-time world happening out there, yeah. and a part-time Christian is no match for it. That's because right. you know what? You go out there. And they'll eat you up in a second. Oh, man. They'll have you in a second. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're no match to this world without Jesus. That's right. Amen. So you fill yourself up. Get yourself ready yeah. to start up before you hit the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now I'm ready. Hey, you got your Bible. You got the word in you. And you're looking for some devils. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> My decision is made up. You need to make yours. So I choose not to be average. I choose not to be part-time, mm -hmm. but I want to be a full-time. Make a change as we start this new year. Make your, make your decision on a daily basis before you leave Amen. and go out. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I just don't want to be average. I just don't want to be part-time. I just don't want to blend in. Amen. I want to be, I want to stand out. Amen. He's a man of God. She's a man of God. Well, how do you know? <laughs> Just watch. Just listen. Amen. So, remember that. Hallelujah. I choose to keep myself passionate. I choose to keep myself stirred up for Jesus. And I choose to stay on fire. Amen. Nobody has to decide that for you except yourself. Right. And you know what? When we come and we assemble ourselves together, is we can encourage one another. Yes. And say, hey, you know, I see something's happening, but you know what? Stay stirred up for God. Yes. Stay on fire for God. Amen. 
Don't let those things bring you down. Cast all those things on the Lord. We encourage in one another. You know, when we come together, some of us are on different levels above uh, our Christian walk. Yes. Don't mean we got to put each other down. That's Just right. got to encourage you yes. to come on up. Amen. Amen. God's using you. God's blessing you. Yes. God's with you. Yes. You know, it's not time to push down. It's time to pull up. Yes. Yes. And Amen. we can do all things through Christ. We remind each other. We encourage one another. Amen. For these things to happen instead of just coming and competing against each other. Well, how much, how many have you brought to Christ this <laughs> week? How many have you, what have you done for Jesus this week? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. We're here to complete one another. Yes. Not compete with each other. Yes. Amen. So remember that. He's done it all. We just yes. need to be his body on the earth Amen. and bring the good news to a lost world. Amen. Woo, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. In, in closing. Amen. <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pray this with me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stir up the gifts. I stir up the gifts. That are in me by faith. That I'm, not going to wait I'm not going to wait till I feel stirred up. I'm, stirred I'm stepping out in faith, I'm out in faith. and I'm doing this compassionate, I mean with passion. And I'm, doing this with passion. And I'm serving him with passion. And I'm, him with passion. And I'm obeying him with passion. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Lord, so God. you keep yourself stirred up. You keep yes. yourself on fire for him. Amen. And you keep yourself passionate and serving and obeying him. Amen. Yes. He wants to see he wants to see us. Yeah, keep your mind on Jesus. Keep your mind on Jesus. <laughs> Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I want to read this to you. <clears throat> I've, I've got it in a different translation, but if you want to follow, you can turn to Psalms 100. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you can turn to Psalms 100, but I'm, I want to read it to you. Thank you. That's good right there. Yeah. Some of these things that we've been talking about, Amen. some of these scriptures we've been talking about, Seek first the kingdom of God is righteous, and all these things shall be added unto you. So Psalm, you turn to Psalm 100, and I'm going to read it from this translation here. Yeah. It's a psalm for giving grateful praise passionately to God. Amen. Amen. So it goes like this. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. All the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Mm. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. Yeah. It is he who has made us and not we Amen. are his. And we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Uh -huh. for verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving <laughs> and his courts with praise. praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. And verse 5, For the Lord Amen. is good and his love is and, and endures forever. Amen. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is a psalm of giving grateful praise yeah. passionately to your God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Uh, I hope uh, you receive. I hope you got something. Yeah. Yeah. He wants us to give, you know. And uh, we've talked about this also. Live to give. Yes. He tells us in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Luke 6.38 says, give and he will be given to you. Uh -huh. Good measure. Press down, shaking together yeah. and running over will be put in your bosom. Yes. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Amen. And uh, when you live to give, you have so much to give. Amen. Amen. Let me let me read it to you this way. Today is the day to give. If your bank account is at zero, finances are not the only thing believers have to give. That's right. Believers have more to give. Amen. Amen. And God gave us his best. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, the world, people, that he gave his only begotten Son. Amen? So praise God. He says, Whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And just a few things that we can give. You can give yourself. You can give of your passion. You can give of your time, yes. your heart, your emotions, your yes. thoughts. You can give thank yous. You can give kind words. You can give of a cheerful attitude. Yes. You can give encouragement. You can give 
honor, you can give happiness, you can give hope, and you can give a prayer. Amen. If you're going to tell someone, you're going to pray for them, don't wait yeah. till you're yeah. home or in your car by yourself and pray in silence. If you're going to say you're going to pray right there, we're going to pray right here. Amen. Amen. Yes. I want people yeah. to hear. Somebody else around you probably needed the same thing, uh -huh. but they were ashamed to say it. So don't be ashamed to pray. People ask you for prayer. We could do it right now. Amen. He says, we're going to pray right now. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that you can give, and we're not just talking about finances. There's a lot of things. Maybe God gave Jesus we can give of ourselves because we don't belong to ourselves anyway. Amen. We belong to him. He paid the price for us. He bought us back. Mm -hmm. So we can give of ourselves to him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Pray that you got something because it blessed me. I hope it blessed you. Amen. Praise God.